G'day legends, uh, Mick here from Fend to Fend. Uh, just gonna do a little uh, update on the fish room. Um, show you how we're going. So these six tanks are obviously up and running. Uh, still need backing on them obviously. I'll, I'll get some black backing or I'll paint them. One of the two, but uh, started putting fish in them. A few red guppies in there, a few koi guppies in that one. Um, I've got plenty of Anubis, um, that's Anubis Nana in there, uh, Anubis Bartiri I believe, and Anubis uh, something heart I reckon off the top of my head but who knows, oh, I'm pretty sure it's something like that but yeah these tanks are set up. Um, as for what's going in, I'm actually thinking of doing six tanks of guppies um, just for the colour. Once I get the black backing on them, the guppies always look pretty good. Um, and obviously, there's always plenty of movement, there's always plenty happening in the tanks. So, I'll sort something out. And that's what I'm thinking uh, at the moment. This one's just got, I've started catching, uh, separating the female platies uh, from the mixed group. So, what I thought is, I'll feed these up get some good size so they're nice big and healthy they can have a rest from the males and then at summer time uh, they'll get divvied up into a couple of tubs outside and I'll introduce some males and that'll be my summer tubbing uh, for probably three or four five months these guys will stay outside and, and do plenty of breeding uh, same plan is for these these are my koi sawtails that I bred I only had one pair of adults and uh, over time I lost them but uh, these were their babies so there's uh, plenty of males in there all the females I'll keep for the tubs outside and I'll keep half a dozen males any excess males will just get uh, taken to the pet shop but uh, I reckon there'd be a good 20 females in there hopefully Hard to tell without getting a bit closer to have a look, but I can see quite a few. Plenty of young males too that just haven't haven't got that sword on their tail yet, but I can, you can still see that they're a male, so. But anyway, I'll make sure the odds favour the females. Uh, if there's not as many females, I just won't use as many males, so it's no big deal. But they'll be going outside as well. Um, obviously these guys will all be going outside as well. These are the pineapple sword tails. They'll be going outside as well for summer, along with a lot of the stuff in this room. Not all going outside, but uh, just for instance, these blue jet antlers, you know, like I might grab uh, two or three males and several females and drop them in a tub for summer and have a crack at them. So, fish room is going well. Backing still got to be done. A few extra lights need to be thrown up. All up in this. This first stage of the fish room, 79 tanks in this little room. So it just shows you with minimal space, you can have a lot. Now I could have easily built different racks too and had these tanks running, you know, length back that way and probably would have got at least four on each shelf and could have had, you know, instead of having six on a one of these racks, I could have had 12, obviously it wouldn't have been on these racks because they wouldn't take the weight, but I could have built proper racks and, you know, if I ever want to get super keen and set up self water changing and all that stuff, I can I could easily remove these shelves and run the tanks the other way and I'd probably easily fit, well, probably 150 tanks in here or more, so. But yeah, other than that, the fish room is going well. There's a few fish, baby mollies. I bought these mollies from a pet shop for sure when you quarantine and they were just girls and then I was there. Obviously they were pregnant and they had a few babies that probably got eaten most of them. Still got some angel fish there. I think all three are females, so just lay eggs, but not gonna be anything else. Until I get a male. I did have a male, but he just attacked him. He was just rough as guts with them, so he was no good. These little guys, I put the mop in there, but I haven't even tried to breed them yet. Um, 
probably will at some stage, just need to get myself sorted out. Uh, in here, uh, behind behind the pot is a pair of albino crebenzas, but they're not going to come out, so they're not playing the game. They hide in behind that back pot, they get right in behind it, so may even lay their eggs back there, who knows. In here I've got a few sword tails and a few platies by the looks of it. And some more motley mollies in that one. Uh, the plants are going well here. Obviously the plants are taken off right throughout the room really, so they're starting to look good. I want to add some more yet, but uh, my daisy blue rice fish are in here that I bred outside. They'll, they'll go back outside as well. I was just uh, cleaning out the pond. The Corydoras that I bred are in here and they just destroy this tank because it just always looks like this, which is just disgusting. So I'll give that a good clean out. I'll probably move them into a two footer. Uh, I'll be moving a bit of stuff around. My one Apisto Panduro. Uh, I lost the gel, uh, unfortunately, so he's just been thrown in here. With some uh, albino quarries that we bred. Uh, bred a heap of red cobra guppies. Um, so looks like a young male there and plenty of young females. Uh, bred a heap of purple cobra guppies. Unfortunately, I reckon we bred, you know, say there's 20 in there. I reckon I've got 20 females and I've got no males left, so unfortunately, I'm not sure what to do with these guys. Um, and they're not a huge difference, the purple and the red, you know, it's not chalk and cheese, but yeah, whether I add a uh, red cobra male in with a purple cobra females and make a bit of a mix there, wait and see, undecided, but uh, and another pair of uh, Albino Carenzas in here, hiding behind the Think they've been in that cave, so I'm not sure if they've had eggs or got fry in there. I haven't seen anything, but uh, I'll get a torch later and try and have a look. But she's been in there constantly on the guard at the entrance, and he's not far, or he's just back a little bit further, so not sure what's going on there. Could be something in there. Uh, this tank's getting cleaned out, just a few sword tails still to move out of these two, then they'll be empty. I'm going to be able to set them up for some breeding. Uh, this has just got a black pair of sword tails in here, I believe. Oh, they hide behind that filter. So they'll get moved out. They'll be go out. They'll go outside. This tank will be empty. This tank's empty now, bar four marble bristle nose in here. That's all that's in here. So I actually quite like the marbles, so I might have to get some more of them. I've only got four. I wouldn't mind a, probably another four. Over here, we have the normal Crevenzas, and there's a few young ones getting around in there. Did have a heap, but I had them in a low tank, and the tank actually just got a little bit too cold, and uh, I did lose quite a few, but there's still there's still quite a few there, and I've dropped a few in other tanks as well, so they're kind of all over the place. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, move them out from somewhere, I don't know. Uh, shrimp. Now this has been a bit of a hit and miss, the shrimp. I had yellow shrimp in here and I had lots, but at the moment I've got uh, not much left at all. Bloody snails, sick of them, but there's a couple of yellows in there still, but yeah, there was a hundred in there, so they've just slowly died off and pretty much gone. So that's, i to set them up in a different tank. Yeah, more young sword tails that uh, uh, just the common variety will probably find themselves uh, in an outside tum tub come summer and I'll probably breed. Like if they get up to the oh, there's a random goldfish in there somewhere. Don't ask me how. That's uh, another story. And my blue shrimp are going alright. Don't have many, only started with a few, but they're definitely breeding. There's babies there with the camera. Yeah, it's not going to do it properly, but yeah, there's a few buried up females there and so they're going alright and there'll be plenty of shrimp up here they like getting up in here as you can see I was going to shake it but I don't need to you can see all the way through it 
shrimp will have the floating plants on top. So that's uh, worked well. This was just a tank of mixed cows, but there's some nice blues in there, there's some blacks in there, there's some reds. And as you can see, it's a pretty neglected tank, but there is some up in the weed again. So yeah, I haven't put any real effort into these shrimp at the moment. Uh, the plan is to get it into two foot tanks in the other room, in room number two when I get cranking with that in an empty tank here to not sure what will go in there just yet. Okay, so that's the first bank done. We'll have a look at the uh, second bank now. So I've got uh, 30 of these two footers, which are meant to be just my breeding tanks, but I've ended up having to put fish in here to grow them up just to get them growing ready for summer. These will all be going outside for summer. Uh, these are my experimental ones where my, I'm going to be putting my male uh, albino firecrackers. They're going to go across some of my... I've got pineapple sword tails in there. I've got oh, there's albino firecracker young ones as well. And there's also the like a rusty, as you can see, they're not pineapples, but they're, uh, they're kind of similar, but they're more of a rusty colour. When you get them next to each other, they, you can see the difference. And I've even got a couple of koi's in there as well, so lots of females in there and just male albino firecrackers that will uh, be uh, breeding with these so all the babies from these ones I will probably have to keep that's the only problem and grow them up to breed together to see what they make so I would like some uh, albino uh, pineapples you know to cross to see what they come up with I've seen them they look pretty good so uh, obviously my breeding Firecrackers are nice and healthy, going really well. And I ordered a lot of these in and lost a lot. Terrible line, really weak. I don't know what luck other people have getting them in. I, I mean, I had to get them freighted in from Queensland. And, yeah, they were skinny. They were, yeah, they just weren't. They weren't healthy. So I probably lost. If I've ordered say 40, I've, you know, all I've got left is this you know maybe 10 that I've had to grow up to adults and the only way I got these guys going well is I dropped them outside in summer and they thrived in the in the outdoor tub and put on weight and yeah it was the best thing I did so and bred unfortunately I lost a lot of the babies so they've been a challenge uh, down here is my tiger platies so this experiment's been a failure I only had one pair so I ordered several and end up with one female and all males so I just left a pair in here and they did breed a few times uh, and then eventually she didn't make it he's still in there but yeah they're not doing too much for me to be honest there's probably 10 little fish in there to a dozen so I'll probably move them into a small tank because this is just wasting a two footer that I can breed something else in so and a lot of them are males too, so I really need to do something there. Uh, over here is my red tail tuxedo platies. They're cruising, do what they do, they breed. I probably need to take the babies out because they've slowed right down. I think you can kind of get a little bit too many and that kind of stops. And obviously my breeding adult albino bristle knows that haven't bred for quite some time, but before that they bred pretty constant so they're having a bit of a break I guess. Uh, down here there's some um, red uh, guppies but they're coming out. So this tank will be, they'll just have the bronze quarries in it um, and then obviously there'll be room for me to put something else in so I don't know what that'll be just yet. So I'll have uh, empty the tiger platy tank, I'll empty this tank and these guys are moving across to the other side. So I have three two footers ready over here for stuff. So these red lace animals will get moved over. There's, there's some in that tank on the other side up high, which is warmer. So these guys need to be moved out into that colony. So, so there's three tanks on this side that I can um, yeah, find something different to keep, I guess. Uh, this tank, my long fin bristle nose are in here. 
There's only the one pair in here that I've never bred, but they're pretty awesome. Uh, the blue platties are, and they look cool, but I need to do a bit of a change up here too, because uh, it's just, yeah, they don't really breed anymore. I think it just gets too many in there and doesn't seem to work as good. So I need to catch out probably a heap of males uh, and just uh, take them to the pet shop, I think. So that's uh, a job for, Get me butt into gear. Uh, over here is my Silverado antlers that are actually breeding true. So I've finally got some antlers that are breeding true. So not at my, my chilies, red bars, and tiger antlers were not breeding true at all. They were all breeding everything. So and there's plenty in there, as you know, antlers breed like flies. And my blue eye lemon bristle nose. Obviously, I left the babies in here, so there's quite a few little babies getting around as well. The adults are not massive, but uh, and I've got some weed I bought back there as well, uh, sub wasa tang or something it's called. And I've dropped it in this tank to see how it goes. It's going to be good for fry to hide in and things like that. So, but yeah, so you can't see a huge amount of small lemons, but. I'm hoping uh, they've survived, so. And I did take one of these females out the other day and put her in here and she's had a heap of babies as well. Didn't really need to, but I just did it for the sake of it. And so they can all be ticked back in there, it doesn't matter. Uh, next one's down, my oh, German whites, which are one of my favorites. So this is the kind of look that I want with that new Banker 6. So you look back at something like this and it, I can see to you, these, these tanks are really nice. Um, those German whites, they need to be cut back down now, they're getting a bit too many in there, but the, that kind of setup is basic but easy but still looks good, so that's the kind of look I'm going for. Very similar over here, needs a bit of gravel in there, a bit of substrate, but these are my golden koi's and super red bristle nose are in here. So I've never bred the super reds, but these were all borders, very small and finally growing up and the, the golden coolies have obviously bred pretty well as you can see so uh, do like my guppies so obviously it can be a bit hit and miss different strains but uh, they're always a bit of fun and, uh, next one down is just my I just I bought these as just premium yellow guppies but they're just a yellow guppy really basic there's some peppermint bristle nose in there as well. This tank probably needs a little bit of loving. But, uh, so yeah, just yellow guppies, so we're not gonna get too carried away there. And this tank will be another tank I've got to, all the red guppies gotta come out, obviously. And those platies are gonna come out, so there's young bristle nose in there as well. But so this will be the fourth two-footer that I'll have. Um, that I can find something new to put in. So, whether that be different varieties of guppies or um, do I try some different things? Um, I'm not sure. I still don't know. I don't want to just go all guppies, I want to have a bit of variety, but uh, they're only two foot tanks, so a little bit limited as well to what uh, can be kept and probably bred in there. Uh, up here, these are just Japanese blue endless. There's no light on this tank, but um, there's plenty in there, so a heap of them have got to be sold as well. I'll just keep probably three or four males and a dozen females, and the rest will go. Uh, these red guppies can all be sold off as well. I've got plenty of these. These are just those premium reds, so they'll all go. And these tanks here, I was going to do the better fish in them. Um, they're all empty at the moment, but uh, I may even yet use them for just pregnant females, dropping them in there with a heap of weed in it and letting them do their thing in peace so the babies don't get predated on, especially for the more. If I get some different lines of guppies that, you know, that'll probably work a bit more and you want to try to get them established. So, so that's the bank two and three done. Obviously, bank four. Right in the middle was the, the new bank, which we just looked at at the start. So there's still a bit of work to do there. There's still a bit of work to do on most of these. Um, and then we come around to this one. 
I've got no backing on these yet, so they're a bit, they don't look as good. So I need to get that done, so the colours, I mean, especially this one, this has got the albino blue topazes in them, and they're, they're awesome guppy, as you can see. So with the black background, these things look magnificent, but uh, obviously when you come back like this, uh, it's getting old now, getting their colour, they're looking really good. So they've bred pretty well, as you can see, I've got plenty of fry in there. Uh, to establish and I've got another lot in there uh, which is good because I've only got one female left and yeah, the three females are slowly passed away which usually happens when I import them in but I was lucky enough to breed them uh, just some mixed guppies in here that I'm still sorting out I've been taking the males out for the same thing I'm gonna give the females a bit of a feed up because these will all go outside in summer they're not gonna stay in here I just don't need a tank of mixed guppies inside. So there's no point. Uh, in here, we've got our little blue jet antlers and our platinum half beaks. Five or six of them. And just our Beano Corridorus that we bred. Again, this needs substrate and backing. Some plants. I'll get that Anubis. I'll get some more driftwood, some rocks. Uh, not much left in this tank, so here's another, oh there's a couple of baby guppies in there that have got to come up, come out, which is no big deal. They'll come out, the adults are not in there anymore. I'll just go in the mix tank and some uh, Julii Corridorus that we bred growing up as well. So again, tank needs an overhaul, but that'll be another tank that I can breed something in, so it'll be five. Obviously these guys will go outside and give me the sixth tank, just the more bronze quarries that we bred. Uh, this tank here is in dire need of some assistance. There's a real big male bristle nose in here on his own, but these were uh, blue Moscow guppies, and uh, it's been going for a while now, this colony, and, but this tank's just been let go down the bottom. So I'll give that one a bit of a clean out. And uh, yeah, whether, they, whether they make the cut, I'm not sure yet, but uh, Nothing too major. Uh, in here is the red lace endlers. So those others from the other side will come across here and some long, thin, common bristle nose. So again, a lot of these tanks need a bit of an overhaul, so but, uh, we'll get there. Uh, in here, my breeding group of uh, Julii Corridorus and a few platys. Uh, Tuxedo, blue tuxedo platys, and I might have to take them out. They've got awesome colours, super bright, but uh, just uh, just eating the Corey's eggs so quick, <laughs> so I don't don't get any anymore. Uh, my mixed platys, which I'm taking the females out, the males can go in a small tank. I'm not going to carry on there too much. Ordered in a heap of these. I think I got 20 all up from. Fish to you, I think it was for memory. I've got two left, or one left by the looks of it. So yeah, that didn't turn out too well. They were like a red tuxedo and a pineapple tuxedo. So yeah, one out of 20 fish made the cut. So yeah, it's a nice uh, stir buys in there. Going well. But, uh, get a move on. These are just the endless that I've got to sort out. Kind of. They're all mixes now, so yeah, they, they might go yet. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, orange guppies in here. Same thing, not sure. I've been unsure on these for a while, whether they make the cut. But uh, yeah, that's it. I've got a few up the top here too. I have separated a few endless, so I put black bars in here uh, to see if I can get a bit of a group that breeds true. Uh, I've got chilies in here, and of course they've already bred like flies all these. I put a trio of uh, the blue moscows in here, and as you can see, if the camera does the right thing, there's fry everywhere in there. I picked out a pair of platys and shrew in here, and I'm pretty confident there's babies in there. There's one right there. Um, a trio of red lace antlers in here. I don't think they have bred yet. Uh, blue jet antlers in here, and yet they've bred a heap. Bloody turtles, still got turtles everywhere. Just strange things. So 
they're, they're all there and really hanging out for a block of food, nothing in that one, nothing in that one, and a few uh, pregnant red lace females in that one and that one. Nothing too spectacular and uh, just a pair of sunset buddies that I'll put out of the way. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the fish room. That's the 79 tanks. Oh, and this tank, which I ended up putting in my all my mixed male guppies and antlers. So there's a bit of everything in there. And as you can see, the blue topaz look pretty wicked with the black background. The tank needs clean, but yeah, that's the fish room legends. So 79 tanks in here, and obviously in here I have started room number two. Uh, so far there's four two footers in there, but they're not ready for fish. Uh, I'm not going to film it until I've set it all up a bit better. Um, so I've got to buy another heap of tanks and get a heap of rubbish out of there and go for there. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll turn the lights off and call it a night. So thanks for watching everyone. Please like, subscribe, share and comment. Throw a few ideas of what I should breed in these other two foot tanks. Um, what fish would be suited to that size tank? Uh, something different to go, maybe a one pair of angelfish. I don't know, I, people say they get too big for a two foot tank, but one pair I would have thought wouldn't be too bad. But anyway, let us know and have a great weekend. Cheers.